Hey guys, welcome to part two of this Iron Squid uh, tournament, uh, you know, little segment that we're doing here. Um, shout outs to VVV, lots of uh, people talking about that in the chat. Uh, used to be my old team, uh, pretty good little team, nothing, uh, nothing too, too much to say about that. But uh, either way, let's go ahead and just hop on into this next game. Again, going to be uh, a ZVP uh, between two really, really awesome great players uh here in the uh bottom left hand side of daybreak we've got mal's uh, cc mana and on the top right of the same map we've got the pink zergy mcferguson stefano see i'm actually being really really selfish and here's why because i can it's my show i actually uh picked all the games of build orders that i've been hoping to steal and I am using this, uh, you know, synesthetic, idolatic memory thingy, whatever. I'm just kidding. I actually have a worse memory in the world. But uh, I am going to use the powers of VOD to actually memorize these build orders and play them on my second monitor. In my ladder matches. Ha ha. Yes, I cheat. Anyways, we've, uh, looks like we're getting, you know, the very same standard... Uh, stuff here by the Protoss player won't be interesting until the Cyber Core comes along, so let's just speed this right along up. And we've got, uh, you know, a little bit of probe action here. Probably gonna, you know, probe these drones. Ooh, probing the mineral line. Ooh, you annoying little fucker. Ooh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Aha, the pool goes down. Interesting, interesting. I've never seen this before. <gasps> this is original. Ah, lolly, lolly, lolly. Super fast. Little action going on here, and eventually the, uh, hatchery does go down. Yes, yes. The, uh, beauty of being able to speed a game up, especially when it's ZBP in the beginning. la di da -di, we've got the forge finishing up, gateway is going to be coming along as well. Nice little positioning on this overlord here, I like that. And drop this down to faster times one speed. Gateway going to be finishing up in just a moment in conjunction here with this Photon Cannon. Nice little uh, overhang on this Overlord. Going to get like two shots from the cannon though. Move your fat ass. Three. Wow. Okay, and uh, here we go. Ling chasing this probe all the way home. Little picky, little picky. What do you do? Third base is on the way. Uh, now for Stefano as well. And the cyber core finally getting started. This is the money tech. As soon as this finishes, we'll have a, you know, an interesting game here. And do 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 do. How are our players looking as far as economy? Actually, mono about three probes up. Um, actually, now it's equalized out to about one. Queens are on the way. Once that occurs, uh, mana's going to need a third base or to do a timing attack to equalize the economies. Blah, 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 so on and so forth. And we've got the core finished now. So what's coming next? This is really where you build some technology, please, mana. Or some gateways or something. Alright, so it looks like he's not trying to hit any kind of crazy fancy timing attack here. He's just getting a really good economy. This might even just be the same build we saw last game. Where he uh, tries to use the Immortal Sentry to hold a third... No probes are moving out on the map, really. Okay. Uh, of course, Stefano going to be uh, really, really, really diligent about, you know, checking for any probes moving out on the map. Ooh, Stalker going to go ahead and clear this uh, tower. Maybe now he's going to send this uh, probe out, third, fourth, assimilator. All right, so Mana, again, just... Uh, Kind of lackadaisically keeping his economy up while getting a good tech again with the overlord scout what is with stefano in these like homing overlords this shit's bonkos okay um three gas have been taken by stefano he's on you know roughly three base nine drones here uh, full saturation, full saturation, and Roach Warren's on the way, evolution chamber, everything kind of looking like he's uh, going for his kind of traditional mass roach style, but uh, he might throw something 
else out here as well. I think Roachling's kind of what he's been favoring a lot lately. Oh, actually, no. Here's a hatchery, so he's definitely going to be doing some heavy tier 1 aggression. Uh, he's, you know, checking around, making sure there's no third base. Lovely stuff. I do like this kind of play by our, uh, our King Stefano. King Stefano, yes, that is right. We've got, uh, some upgrades, uh, plus one ranged, uh, metabolic boost, as well as, uh, you know, this Twilight Council on the way, as well as Roach Speed. Holy Christ. These players are getting ready for, uh, this mid-game timing. How many gateways is this? Four. Four gate. Five gate. Uh, five gate, Immortal Century, Harass with Twilight Council, gonna be blank. So he's already, uh, getting ready for transitions. Okay, cool. I like... I like this style. Here's the third base, and uh, here's 14 roaches going to be thrown in the face of that third base. Lovely. And by, you know, chasing out this overlord, uh, he's basically telling Stefano, hey, I have a third base, come attack me. So, uh, yeah, Stefano making an overseer, making some lings, a lot more roaches, really cool stuff here. And there's the overseer now. Roaches moving out across the map. It is the March of Doom. Okay, and actually, I'm going ahead and targeting down this debris. Ooh. See, I actually think Stefano... I, I, we've seen Stefano actually just be completely suicidal aggressive with roaches, throwing so many resources away for basically just slowing down the tech of his opponent. And, yeah, here we go. He's actually going to... Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, yep, here we go. He, he's just going to target down this forge, trying to make sure that, uh, you know, the roaches are not going to get force fielded in some crazy position. And uh, he's going to back on up. Actually, looks like he's going to uh, try to attack the third, um, but Mana's not going to get caught off guard here. Oh, now he's... Ah, Stefano, make up your mind. He's going for the third. He's going for the third. And he's taking a fourth base. That's great. So while he's doing all this aggression, he's still transitioning out into, uh, you know, a macro kind of play. And this is going to be awesome for him. Uh, Blink is going to be on the way now. Plus two's finishing up. If he had have uh, canceled that forge or, uh, you know, destroyed that forge, oh, wow, that would have canceled the upgrade. This would have completely set Mana uh, back. But uh, right now, nope. Roaches, roaches, roaches. He is throwing out the roaches. I really like how he's keeping these roaches uh, split up in little groups. That's going to allow him to, uh, well, basically bait out more force fields. And look, that's six force fields. That is a ridiculous amount of energy uh, out of these centuries. Now, if he can just keep baiting out force fields and keeping mana, uh, you know, a little bit paranoid almost, uh, it's going to force him to spend extra money on defense like this, and that's going to let Stefano get more and more ahead. Uh, you know, even though he's building these units, he had to build them to be safe. He's just being aggressive with them now uh, because he has to have them, so he's going to get the most out of what he does have. Um, seven investors going to be on the way. Plus one, plus one, finishing for melee. And here's the Spire. So we should be expecting Hive Tech you know, within the next couple of minutes. Do, 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 do. Lots of uh, spine crawlers uh, going down as well. So Stefano definitely moving in there for the uh, for the Broodlord tech. And here's this Roach Ling Investor style that, uh, you know, this timing attack he always hits uh, to pressure the third and delay the fourth. Eight spine crawlers finishing now. Plus two, plus two. Sp uh, spire halfway done. We actually have charge on the way as well. So, uh, you know, zealot legs, zealot legs, they will run uh, the marathon. Alrighty. Dude, look at this ring of friggin' spine crawlers. What the fuck? All right, so nice little uh, ling run by kind of thing. Just uh, keeping these lings mobile, trying to apply some pressure. All, all great tactics in the Zerg arsenal. And Hive Tech finishing up. Do, 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 do. Kind of slow game, actually, but uh, I like how Stefano's not forcing anything. Uh, I find in my own play, uh, when I make all these units, fuck it, I've got to use them, or 
you know, those could have been drones. Uh, I, I like the patience of some of these professionals. Of course, I just said that, but I think Mana might be being a little bit too patient. Again, Stefano starting the Broodlore tech, he's going to have to kill Stefano right now, or he's going to lose. Uh, there are four Archons in the uh, mix, and that is going to make it very, very difficult for Stefano if he does not get absolutely perfect force fields. Of course, Mana moving forward with sentries in the front of his army. This may be bad for him. He is attacking right into the Ring of Death. Oh my god, Blink is uh, going to go ahead and sacrifice the rest of those sentries. No sentries, no force fields, and again, Mana just getting cleaned up. Uh, of course, you know, the roaches have been eliminated for Stefano, but 15 more are in production, as well as 38 lings. Going to go ahead and chase the Protoss back right onto the proxy pylon. And, wow, infested Terran are chasing the Protoss army back. That is epic. Oh, okay. And the infested Terran go down. Such an expensive unit. You should really be more careful with those, Stefano. Yeah, Infestors, those are the cheap units. Lose those. Okay, so uh, Spinecrawler's going to go ahead and root in. That is going to be the end of Mana's army. I have to say, Mana is uh, not showing the skill he's kind of known for uh, in these two games. I don't know if Stefano, you know, if it's just the Stefano curse, you know, you play against Stefano, you look bad. Or if Mana's just kind of out of practice here. Uh, nice little blink forward here. Going to go ahead and target down some Infestors. But ultimately, there are so many Roaches that the stalkers are going to be uh, cleared out. Uh, Immortals here, going to go ahead and try to target down some of these roaches, but again, there's just so many units. Uh, stalkers taking some damage while the Immortals are targeting down some of the, uh, more of the roaches. Zealots with legs uh, also taking hits for these Immortals. Only uh, seven roaches left, six roaches, an infester. Will these Immortals go down? Save the Immortals! If you lose that Immortal, I am going to kill you, Mana. Lings! Run from the Ling! No, don't actually run from Lings. They, uh, they will kill you. Yeah, so, uh, not too bad of a trade. He did get rid of most of those roaches. So, uh, yeah, life's looking pretty good here for Mana, except for being, you know, 30 supply behind. If, yeah, he, he's gonna need another cannon here at the front of this natural. Otherwise, uh, that's gonna be the killing blow for Stefano. He's just, he's gonna see this and realize this is a very weak position for Protoss. Some cannons, something in here. Uh, otherwise, yeah, this is a perfect breeding ground here for Broodlords. Okay, Lings, again, poking around everywhere. Is there a fourth base 19 minutes into the game? No, you haven't even thought about one, Mana. Hmm. Again, just strange decisions by Mana. Uh, Stefano playing a really aggressive game. I think it's throwing them off a little bit. Uh, Zergs are not this aggressive uh, usually. There's a reason he's the European champion, I guess. Do, 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 do. Plus three, plus three. Finishing up. Great stuff. No neural parasite. Huh. Must not be scared of Mothership. Another Spire finishing. He likes the 2-2 two, two upgrades. We've got a fifth base now for Stefano. Alright. And, hey, more gas is being taken. Overlord spewing creep in the base right next to a hatchery. Great choices. Um, game's kind of coming to a, a little bit of a lull here. I am interested to see Graviton Catapult. I uh, don't know what uh, exactly that's going to be for. Uh, I mean, yeah. Uh, why carriers? That's all I've got to say. Why carriers? <laughs> um... Yeah, okay, so we're going to have carriers in this battle. I really would have liked to have seen a mothership before the carriers, uh, because that allows the carriers to kind of section off the uh, the Zerg army, and then the, car the interceptors and whatnot, uh, you know, are able to do a lot more damage before the carriers are ultimately killed off. 
I don't know. We'll find out. Mana throwing some uh, curveballs at us. Definitely going to get interesting. Five minutes left. Five minutes left. If Stefano lets him build carriers for five more minutes... I really think Mana might win this. Holy shit. <gasps> Mana. Only now getting a fourth base up. Stefano is just going to get caught without very much anti-air. Look at the Broodlords. I don't... <laughs> what the hell is going on? Is this real life here, guys? Is this real life? I think I might be dreaming. Alright, so we've got uh, some probes being sent to the fourth base. And, ooh, spine crawlers are. Uh, okay, I kind of am interested to see the spine crawlers being built right here. Check this out, though, because he's got this. He can just cluster kind of his Broodlord army in this area, and he'll defend this whole section. This is awesome. I like Stefano's decision here. Again, just playing super defensive, um, playing a positional game. He's zoning out his opponent. The problem, of course, he's given him time to build carriers. Everyone laughs about carriers. Of course, they've become a little more popular recently, but they laugh about carriers because they take so long to build. If you actually give your opponent time to build carriers, well, they do shit like this. Ooh, nice fungals. That's going to take out some of these uh, interceptors, but it does kill off most of the infestors as well. Corruptors getting, ooh, stormed as well as in Oh my god, fungal growth going off as well. Corruptors targeting down a lot of the carriers. The interceptors are uh, eating away at them, though. There's two carriers left, but most of the in interceptors uh, are gone because they were carried in the other carriers. Now Broodlord's chasing down the remaining ground army, but there's no anti-air left for these carriers. Ten uh, characters are on the way. Oh my god. There's a really small but high-tech composition out of mana right now. The problem is he's on 12, or 1,200 minerals and about the same gas. So he's just not macroing. He's 30 supply behind. His macro has fallen off compared to to the constant inject of Stefano. Stefano all the way back at 200 supply, uh, where Mana, just not spending all his resources, does not have the protection to do so. Um, oh my gosh. More uh, kills here by the Broodlords. Carriers are killing off Corruptors. Stalkers dying to uh, mostly Broodlings. And now that the Carriers are being chased away by Corruptor Queen... Mana drops the GG. What just happened? Mana, carriers, what? Really? Okay, works for me. I thought that was a pretty fucking cool game. Uh, guys, again, three minutes, and we'll be back for game number three. Looking forward to it. Bye-bye.